the Gorilla Guide for Councils. And um, so basically, it's almost like it's hand in hand with what you've just talked about because we thought about the agents of change inside the council that perhaps are a bit bow beaten, that are a bit tired that keep coming across the same same things being said to them and they're banging their head against the brick wall. Um, and what would, what would help them survive in that environment and also flourish and how eventually could they perhaps bring about some change? So we started off with, let's just get down on paper some of the things that we know get said to them. So we created a list of issues, uh, things that people talk about and hear that they say, um, where people say, yeah, actually, this is great, but actually, really, they're only doing lip service, for example. They don't really mean it. They don't really take it forward. The thing around, um, you know, money and time. We haven't got time to do this. There was a load of things that we just popped down. Uh, we could have carried on, but we started getting a bit depressed. So, like, okay, let's stop. No more issues. Uh, and then we started thinking about what, we, what would be the tips? What would we say in response to that? So we, we kind of sucked all the goodness out of our own brains from around the small table. And then we got into co-design mode and we went to where the people are. So Dave went out and did a bit of research, a bit of field work, gathering some views of how what people would say. And we got people <laughs> coming to the table and joined us and uh, shared some of their top tips. Uh, and again, we could have carried on and carried on. Because uh, there is a, a, I think the thing to point out is Lots of people have really good tips and techniques on how to overcome some of these issues. So from that, we kind of distilled them into a top tips, tips, tips. <laughs> <laughs> it is four o'clock to be fair. Uh, into some top tips uh, and ninja tricks, which we then went out and did a bit of user testing. So Alison will talk you through the feedback on some of the user testing and what people said around our top tips. <laughs> um, the feedback that we got was really good. We got some extra suggestions, um, but just to pick... Do you want me to hold? Thank you. So one of our issues was um, we rely on the experts that we employ. Um, well, actually, all of our residents are experts as well because they live with the decisions that our members make. So they are our experts. So that was one of the, you know, the tips that somebody can use to go back and say, well, actually, you know, you're not the only experts. Um, what else have we got? Oh, external gaze and public pressure. Councillors really care about what, um, about communications and what it looks like from the outside. So when you've got them saying, um, oh, I can't remember where it was. Oh yeah, it's a political decision, um, you know, so deliber de deliberative democracy won't work. Well, actually, if it's gonna look bad, then maybe, you know, you need to think about using that to avoid um, that and they will take notice of that. So that was just a couple of our um, top tips and ninja tricks. Great stuff.